Welcome. My name is Matt Foster. I'm a Salesforce consultant partner for the last 11 years. And in this video, we're going to be going through a demo of Salesforce Sales Cloud, as well as Financial Services Cloud, specifically geared towards wealth advisement, wealth advisors. So as you're seeing on my screen, we just got an email from a current client that they got their paperwork ready for their IRA transfer. And because I'm using the Gmail or the Outlook integration works very similarly, I see on my side panel that Matt Foster matches to an existing Matthew Foster in our system. And I can see that we already have an opportunity that we're working. So I'm gonna log my email and that will save right back to the records that are related to it that Matt sent. And I'm gonna reply and say, sounds great. and send them my calendar link to uh, uh, make sure we can meet. I can hit the message to log on send, and that'll automatically log to Salesforce, and I'll hit send. But I wanna get up to speed on who Matt is and what this opportunity we're working on. So let's go ahead and look at the contact record, or the person record, in the Outlook or Gmail plugin. But I really wanna get into more detail than just shows here, so I wanna see the record in Salesforce. So I just simply hit this button to expand it and go into Salesforce. I can see now that I'm logged into my Salesforce org. And in my Salesforce org, I get all sorts of details about Matt Foster. I can see his financial accounts, assets of management, type of categories with. I can see that he's a mass at, at affluent or high net worth person. I have all his contact information, uh, address information, a nice roll up summary of the existing financials information about our client services. I even know that he likes college basketball and technology because of some great analytics and some data points on that. But now let's dive a little further. So let's say we're just going to use Sales Cloud. You can use all these type of fields. There are quite a few fields on this layout that are in Financial Services Cloud. But in Sales Cloud, you can also create and customize those fields. If we click on Sales Cloud, I can see the opportunities that we were just talking about. We see that we closed one 401k deal with him back um, not too long ago. <laughs> Example dates are uh, somewhat relative. And then I can see the one that we're talking about now, that we're working on an initiation of transfer for $250,000 from an IRA. And I can click into that and find out more information. You can also see that he submitted a few cases to us um, for any sort of um, uh, support that he wanted. You can also see an asset summary with some notes and attachments. And to the right, I see a whole activity timeline. So through the activity timeline, I can see those two emails we just logged. I can see there's an onboarding meeting today that we called the client. And then there's another onboarding meeting four years ago. So real easy to get up to speed on not just the activity from me, but also anybody else within my company. Now let's take a look at some of the financial services cloud app, uh, features that can really enhance the relationship with Matt. The first feature set, we're going to talk about goals and or life events. Life events is a great way to uh, segment out milestones for our clients. So we can see that we know when he was born, graduation, when they got a job, they're married. Um, we can add additional ones. Uh, he has a goal to retire. Um, I think Matt wants to probably buy a boat. I'll update this here quick. Um, Matt wanted to buy a boat uh, at the end of this year. I'll just update that for 12.19. I could update additional information if I wanted to. You can see that information updates. And as you can see below, based on that boat, he had a goal to buy a boat and then also to retire. And we can see some values that are tracked here. So great ways to figure out what are those future goals of your clients and how can you uh, help them accomplish them together. We then can drill into FSC accounts. So Financial Services Cloud brings a whole bunch of uh, nat native places to put account records. So whether it be investment accounts, bank accounts, maybe other auxiliary accounts that you want to track data, you can either enter these manually or you could do integrations to your backend systems. So from here I can see there's a 401k investment account for, with a current balance of 1.3 million. You can also see that someone manually put in a savings account that he has for $80,000 in a CD. So you may want to ask him about moving that money over into a better investment uh, vehicle. Next, we can look at the relationships. 
Relationships and the relationship mapper is a great way to figure out who is Matt connected to and uh, uh, build out that, that really tree of uh, relationships. Matt doesn't have a lot of relationships in the system here today, but you can see his financial accounts. For instance, if he had um, um, his, you could put his lawyer, you could put his accountant, you could put all sorts of related contacts here. Uh, down below, there's also referral information. So let's say Matt referred you a certain amount of people. You can track that information and I'll roll up summaries here, such as the number of referrals, maybe one's rejected, revenue generated. So if any sort of customer thanking program, that's a great uh, use case there too. And as well in Financial Services Cloud, there's activities. So you can create action plans um, as well as document checklists or just a couple of examples. Action plans is a set or a series of activities that you want to schedule out and you put in a template. And document checklist items would be any sort of documents you're trying to collect from that client. You can also track this on the opportunity level. Well, let's say we want to go back because uh, we're not only going to work this uh, IRA account, uh, but we want to put a task for ourselves just to make sure um, that we uh, followed up with Matt and that we got something on the books. I'll just create a new task for myself to say, checking with Matt the meeting. I'll assign a due date for next Monday and then just simply hit save. So I can see now in this activity timeline for this opportunity that I've got something to do here as well as some things that we've already done. And then there's also staging and opportunities. So if you have any sort of client onboarding processes, uh, you can certainly expand these stages and then create tasks and or uh, instructions on what to do in those stages for your opportunities. So now let's say I've, I'm, I'm done setting that up with uh, Matt for moving his IRA, IRA over. I want to go ahead and take a look at what type of leads or referrals have I been referred to that I need to follow up with. So people that aren't necessarily clients with us, but people that have uh, either come to trade shows, employee referrals, or just other referrals that have uh, uh, been here. So leads and referrals is a great place to do this. This intelligence view uh, is also can be used in different views. Uh, but this is one of the easiest ones to do. You can see your total leads, ones that you have no activity on, or you can see you know, who's upcoming versus who has no activity, and total leads and referrals. And from here, I can initiate emails, I can initiate phone calls, um, or I could go ahead and update information like, yep, I'm working him, or you know, we've, we've, we've tried to work with this person, um, and we found out that uh, you know, they're just unqualified to work with us. So I can do quick, easy updates right in this view. So let's drill into John Steele's lead record and we can see some of that exact same things that we're used to seeing on the account record. And if accounts don't really make a whole lot of sense, we can actually rename this to like clients because it's not a financial account, it's a, it is a person. And you can see the high level information, some uh, contact information for them. And you can see that uh, uh, someone called Jim, left him a voicemail, someone did a demo with them. Again, that same activity and timeline. And then when a lead's ready to continue to uh, move to an actual client or someone that you're working an opportunity on, you hit the convert button and then that would make an account and an opportunity uh, for you to be working with that person to further uh, fill out your pipeline. I'm going to cancel this and go back to my home page because your home page is typically where you log in at the beginning of the day. So this home page has been specifically set up uh, for wealth and investment advisement. So you can see the data metrics or the KPIs that are most important to me show up right here. And this is all fully customizable. So you can see my book of business. This is just serves as an example. Total households in my book of business. Clients by their wallet share. Total assets under management. Most valuable clients based on their assets under management. Financial accounts. Uh, maybe assets that are held away. If you're tracking like I showed you that savings account that you want to move over. Least valuable clients, total accounts uh, uh, by client. And then over to the right, you're going to see a little bit of AI. So Assistant is going to help direct you to do some of the things that maybe you forgot to create a task for or something that's been in the pipeline for a while. So you can see AI is reminding us of quite a few different leads um, and then as well as some um, activities that aren't uh, uh, or any sort of opportunities that haven't had any activity on them. Uh, down below, I can also see the tasks I have for day, today and any events 
You can also sync these things with your Outlook or Gmail calendar. So hopefully this is helpful. The next thing I'll show is if you want to extend Salesforce even further, they're going to want to look at the integrations. So such as Fidelity integration, or if you use Orion to try to bring back all your, uh, your data from your backend systems uh, into Salesforce. So I really encourage you to look at the AppExchange and just hit search and you can type in um, what you're looking for. Or certainly feel free to contact Fostering and your account manager uh, to help streamline and uh, implement Salesforce uh, with the quickest way possible um, with great experience and, and uh, great success. Appreciate your time. Hope you enjoyed this demo.